Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of And And Yes. And And Yes, we dropped it for a while, but I want to come back to this core question that we're always thinking about when either watching or, you know, being on the channel. And that is, is it roguelite or roguelike? Now see, many people think that it's one, and many people think that it's the other, I'm here to say, I don't know if it matters. That's right. Bolder words have never been spoken. This is true. I don't care which one you use, because when you say it fast enough, it sounds like you're saying the same thing. Whichever one you prefer, roguelike, roguelite, doesn't matter. So keep saying it the way that you prefer it. Live your life. That's what I'm here to tell you. That was, I didn't plan this like orchestral sort of sweep as I was talking, but it works very well. In case you couldn't tell from the category or the name of the video or the music, we are playing Risk of Rain 2 today, uh, which is a game that I have some experience with. I think it's fun. It's a good game. And uh, I saw it was on sale and I was like, Let's make a stream out of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to start, but th there was a DLC uh, attached to the game that I'd never seen before, so I was like, groovy. Um, what do you prefer? Roguelite? Roguelike? Is it all from Rogue Legacy? What's the first roguelike? Where's my mouse? <laughs> my mouse is, my mouse has gone missing. Do I have to alt, t double alt tab? Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, what was the first rogue light? See, the first. I gotta show this off quickly. If I say what was the first rogue, see. Whoops. I pressed uh, the button that changes uh, my my viewing from from me and something to just me. And uh, and then Safari got quite mad. Alright, what was the first roguelite? Derives from the 1980 game Rogue. First known with the core roguelike element gameplay. Was Beneath Apple Manor. Cool. Groot V. Um... Alright, uh, no more yes to this, and we are playing. You'd think I would be more opinionated for someone who spends so much time playing video games slash roguelikes. Uh, single player, let's, uh, let's rein it up. It's been a long time since I've played this. I remember you two. You're the like base basic guy who kind of, in my opinion, kind of stinks. Uh, you're probably better, but you were never my pick, and I've never seen you before. So let's just lock in, rail gunner. Um, and we're gonna have to unlock all the characters and everything all over again, which is a bit of a bummer. But oh hello. Uh, to do that, we can start off by taking this. Okay, that's kind of nice. It, it, oh. Okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, shift does that. I have two of them. And R charges up. Whoa, for a big shot. And then you gotta like, recharge, gotcha. Uh, periodically release a uh, healing Nova during the teleporter event, sure thing. Oh, you're done. Oh, um, oh yeah, cool. Uh, 
I was rewarded. Where did it go, though? Did it go all the way down? Oh, it did. Alright, well, let's go get it. Alright, and then we can R. We charge up. You're in trouble. Phew! <laughs> That's cool. I like that. I'm usually not a big fan of, like, the sniper class, but, uh... But Tane I can get into. Oh, there I am. Uh, control. So I can sprint. Yeah, I like the really, uh... Movement versatile classes. So I was really big into the, uh, the Spider-Man class. Uh, you know, where you Spider-Man around. Okay. Ah, I see, I understand. Alright, it's a, it's a cool character. I can get into it. Right, give me this rare thing. Dealing damage heals you. Alright. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank you for the lunar coin. Maybe we can go to the to the moon. Alright, get him. Pew! <laughs> Does so much damage. Oh man, and if we crit off that, yeah, we should get more crit uh, thingies. Um, this is how I play Risk of Rain, but I'm always open to some pointers. How I play it is I just stand around an area with boxes until I have enough money to buy the boxes. And that might be honestly very terrible, but... Ooh, I missed it. I like that timing aspect, though. That's fun. And the, uh, like the spacing... Like, yeah, that, that seems to be for spacing. What do you got? Oh, death mark. Okay. You're in trouble. Phew! Dome's there. <laughs> it's a good game, though. I, I like this one. And it's another one that I could play with viewers if anyone ever wanted that. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Hey, okay, there's the teleporter. We can hit that at any point, but I think... Let's go for a little longer, find a couple more upgrades. Hmm? You know, sure. Just to... You, you'll net me some money, I think. Maybe rebooting needs to be faster. Also, I could just do that. I wonder. Nice. It worked exactly how I thought it would. Hell yeah. Alright, sprint me. I didn't read any of this guy's stuff before we started, but I'm getting the hang of it. This is how I played all the characters in Risk of Rain, was whenever I unlocked them, I would play them, and I would never read what their stuff did. I would just, you know, do it. How's my gunner turret doing? Pretty well. It'll help out for the teleporter event as well. Alright, any more boxes? Any more boxes for me? The the uh, gunner turrets aren't usually that good in my opinion. Um, they're only worth taking if they're in a convenient location, which that one wasn't really.
Oh. Oh. Alright, let's go do the teleporter then, since I don't see any more boxes. Unless... No, that's just a mark on the wall. Really, am I miss like missing something? I feel like there should be more items. Slightly increases attack speed and movement speed. That's nice. Yeah, att having better attack speed would be really helpful. There's, what is it, like Soldier Syringe, I think is the name of the item. Go, go, go. Alright, Beetle Queen. Where are you? There you are. Whoopsie! <laughs> uh, I got, I got... Oh, shit, yeah, I needed to use the thing to defuse the bomb. I forgot what that beeping meant. Anyway, I guess I suck. I unlocked a Railgunner trick shot, though, so I guess I kind of rock. Let's try the Railgunner again, um, and the loadout we can put on this. Fire piercing around for 2,000% 2, 2, damage. Sure, why not? Let's go normal style again. Yeah, I forget what it does, it's like, uh, if... The, the active, if my health gets too low, uh, then it starts beeping, and if I don't have a charge to satiate it, then I'll die. What is that? I have no idea. Sure. What, what are you doing? Oh shit, I forgot about the, the fuel array thing. Well, that's a bummer. I wanted to see what that did. Alright, what if we did a run and we didn't take the, the fuel thing? We can always unlock the... I think it's the plant guy is what that unlocks. We can always unlock it later. Siphon Force? This is new to me. Nope, I almost took it on instinct. But this character's cool. Let's try out our new trick shot thing. Okay, cool. And it does freezing damage as well, so I think that'll be helpful against bosses. Even though it does, whoops, less damage by itself, I think it gives us the potential to do more damage because it, uh, it'll, if it freezes for long enough, then we're gonna go sicko. I kind of thought that would do something. Whoops. Hello. Whoa! That was cool. Now for some items. Am I right? Whoops. Well, if we can't get items, we'll at least get money. Alright, uh, never mind. I think actually we might just die instead. Fuck. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong button still. <laughs> Never punished. Alright, now for some boxes.
not exactly what I meant, but you'll have to do. Take a box. I like this guy because you don't really have to aim, which is usually my weak suit in these kind of games. Oops. Oi, oi, oi. Temporarily steal the power of slain enemies. Sure thing. Uh, give me your power, my slain enemies. Oh, I tried to land on that, but it didn't work. I want to explore more. This place is so cool. Take me up. Actually, no, take me to the box first. Yeah, that's right. I'll take an equipment, I think is what this one does. Heal for percent of damage that you deal. Alright. Uh, when, when active. Darn it. Oh, hey. Cool. Alright, how about we go do the boss? Oh, unless. One one more, one more. Oi. Alright, that isn't super helpful to me, but oh well. And cool, let's do it. And uh, when we hit the teleporter, we can kind of look around and see all the webs that cover the chests, and then we'll know where they are. Wandering Vagrant. This guy isn't too tough, if I recall correctly. All right, there's a chest right there. No, is there? Where are you? Darn it. Oh, cool. Who knew? Oh well. That was a, a well-timed, uh, uh, hungry leech, if I do say so myself. Oh no! Steal me your powers, everyone. Ah, maybe I need to go into the easier mode. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that good. All right, what does it take to unlock this guy? Escape the planetarium. I don't know what the planetarium is. All right, who else do I like? Uh, okay. We'll go a little easier just for a round so I can get back into it. But we're gonna stick with the railgunner because I think uh, the Railgunner, at least to me, is more interesting than these other two. Titanic Planes. Ground Zero. Alright, I know this one, I think. Da, 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 da. What is this? Shrine of Combat. Sure thing. Oh, you suck.
Wait, are you like healing him, buddy? It took you long enough. Where was the healing guy? There you are. Hello? Monster log. Lemurian. Alright, where was it? There it is. Cool. Alright, we're in a good spot. I'm feeling it. Got the money. And, uh, that's about it, but... Still, it's worth something. Where? Whee! <laughs> I don't know, you guys could also jump up. Alright, have some have some of that. Very nice. I wonder if I could get that to do damage. Maybe that's like a, one of the upgrades, like the freezy thing. Oh, hey. You can have half of my health. What is this? Lost Seer's Lenses. Gain a 5% chance to kill non-boss enemies. Corrupts all lens maker glasses. Okay. Not a 5. 0 0.5. Does corrupt mean, uh... None of them work anymore? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh heck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think that that matters too much. Crit is nice, especially for like sniper builds, but uh, yeah, we can take a chance to, to auto kill. Also, it's not super helpful, but... Hmm... Go... The music in Risk of Rain is always really good, in my honest opinion. Uh-oh. Oh, so it, it... It turns into that. I like that. If you got enough of those things, you could... Get a 100% chance to... Kill. Oh, nice. Double reward. Now some death marks would be nice. Because we have a lot of status effects going, at least at the moment. Gain gold on taking damage. And, uh... Slug? Create a clone of yourself for 30 seconds. Alright, I can do that. Alright, without further ado. What? Did that miss? Clone! Do my bidding! Oi, 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 oi! Thank you, clone. My clone's pretty good, if I say so myself. Thanks, buddy. Boost health and regeneration. Thank you. I need that, because I keep dying. Oh, you know what? Since we're doing... E no, 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 no. We want to keep the clone. The clone's good. Goodbye. Really? 
Alright, there's one there. Uh, I'm just, I know I'm not gonna be in the teleporter zone, but I wanna see. Uh, okay, that's, we don't have to go all the way over there. Anything down here? Uh, no, just that one thing. I need to get better with my sniping and with my timing. Oh, hey, Bingus Stan. Yeah, uh, this is my first time playing as this character as well. There was a, a DLC, I think, that came out a number of months back. Uh, but I haven't played since the DLC. And also, I was playing on Switch, so, you know, I have to unlock all the characters again. But this is the Railgunner, kind of a sniper. Similar to the, to the Huntress. Uh, in that, I think the primary attacks do like automatic lock on. But uh, yeah, pretty cool in my opinion. How are you doing, Bingus? It's nice to uh, nice to see you. Uh, was that really it? All right, I guess I got two healing drones. That's kind of nice. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Hey, we finally made it to the next level. It's kind of embarrassing that it took us that long. Yeah, I'm doing good, Bingus. Um, yeah, you know, trying to, trying to keep my mood up and... And all of that. I have a good feeling every day. Alright, red whip, red whip, red whip, and something I've never seen before. We'll take the something I've never seen before. Hello, hello, hello. Oops. It did work. I think we're better off just using our primary fire, because I'm not a very good aim. And also, the more we hit, the more bleed we can do. I don't know if uh, that thing has uh, procced yet. The crazy boy glasses, or whatever they're called. Alright, what do you do? Activating your primary skill also throws a shuriken. Recharges over time. Nice. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Sucker. Alright, let's get another one of these crazy items. Corrupts all fuel cells. Adds an extra charge of your special skill. What is my special skill again? Oh, it's the ice. Okay. Uh, that's not great because the ice takes so long to charge, but, you know, it might help. Also, you can use the ice as, a, as like, a jump almost. That's kind of fun. Hey, nice. Alright, where do we want to go? Oh, is that a chest? No, that's a dead guy. So, Bingistan, you've played this before. Whoops. Do you enjoy it? Earlier I was saying I used to like to play as the Spider-Man character. Um, but I haven't played in a while. Alright, we're two. Well, let's just go down here, I guess. Didn't work. Uh, give me some more chests. Yeah, this game is super fun. Yeah, I agree. Did you have a character you enjoyed? 
Who else did I like? I thought that the engineer was fun. And the bandit was cool. Energy drink, increase sprint speed. I'm out of here. Alright. Take me up. I don't like the crunch when I land. Gasoline. Alright, I haven't seen the, uh... Oh, you like the, the chef? The chef was in the first one, right? I, I don't, I can't remember if they put the chef in this one. I don't know, it honestly, it's been so long. I also just learned today that they're doing a Risk of Rain remake. Uh, which for a game that feels pretty new, is kind of surprising to me, but hey ho. Uh, good for them, I guess. What is this? Oh, uh, damage me. For fun. Alright, let's go find the teleporter. I'm sick and tired. Of always being sick and tired. You see that? <laughs> oh, is this, is this what I think it is? Yes! It's the... In the Shrine of the Mountain King. Alright, if we look around, we should be able to see that it's over there. Whoops. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we can do double Shrine of the Mountain. Oh, never mind. I thought it was another shrine, but it was just the, the teleporter displaying that the shrine was active. Anything back here? Let's rock and roll. Where are we? Oh, get my guy out. Alright, where's the other one? Right here. How's my uh, gummy rail gunner doing? Good going, uh, gummy rail gunner. I'm proud of us. Alright, double the reward. I can't remember what this one does, but I always remember being underwhelmed by it. Alright, uh... There's something over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, some stuff over here. All right, well, we'll go finish off the teleporter. Oh, hey, a lunar coin. Oh, there was something over there. A little liar. Um, okay, cool. Just hidden behind some rocks. Very tricky, this one. Very tricky. Where is it? Hello? Oh. 
Alright, you come with me. We got the money for it. And then there was some stuff over here. What do you want? Boom. Boom. We have four healing drones. That's pretty strong, if you ask me. I don't usually uh, like drones all that much, but like, might as well take them. We don't have anything else to spend our money on. If I have the opportunity, I would like to go to the moon prison, but who knows. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I thought we would teleport away before I uh, before I got zapped. Oh, I've never seen this level before. It's a bit yellow, it's a bit aggressive. I'm assuming if I stand in this, I'll get like poisoned? Or is that an incorrect assumption? Nope, I will be fine. What's this? Oh, another evil thing. Sure, have my health. Corrupts all bustling fungus. Fungus, my beloved. Hey, another shuriken. That's kind of nice. I I always thought that uh, while Bungus' healing was good, it was never quite worth it. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I'm poisoned. Uh, because standing still can be really, really quickly overwhelming in this game. Hello. What is that sound? I could. What is that sound? Love the fungus, Bingus. <laughs> Bingus just saying their own name. Um, yeah, fungus, Bingus, Bungus, wake up, America. I could not agree more. Uh, What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Um, I think, yeah, I love the name Bungus. It's iconic. Uh, we want shoot faster, please. Oops, I keep poisoning myself like an idiot. Par for the course. What's that saying? Par. Par for the chorus. I I've been saying it so long that I've never really questioned it, but I'm not sure I get it. <laughs> like par is in like like not necessarily, but like like par is in like golf. You know par. Kind of forgot I had to shoot. Oh par for the course. I always thought it was par for the chorus. Like that's exactly what the chorus would do. They're always parring about. Delicate watch. Deals bonus damage. Breaks at low health. Don't know if I like that given my playstyle, but uh, we'll try it out. Uh oh. It, so it is a golf thing. Alright, interesting. I kind of like my version of it as well, though. You see that? I meant to do it. Uh, Trophy Hunter's Tricle. E. Okay, uh... No, I think that I'm... 
gonna keep my gummy rail gunner, which I also accidentally used, but hey ho, that's fine. Uh, whoops. Alright, I think we're back where we started. Alright, what's in here? Flat damage reduction, I think. I'll take the mocha. The faster we sprint, the faster we heal, right? Wrong! Wrong! Maybe I'm confusing it with Whistle for the Choir, which is that song by the Fratellis. It goes ba da da ba da da ba da 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 da. Give me potion, potion seller. Repeat. Receive an instant heal at low health. Consumed on use. Fine by me. Maybe that way we can keep our funny watch. All right, we almost have our gummy, so we can we can start it off. What is it, the imp? Ah, uh, the dune strider, huh? Oh my goodness, shredding this guy. Oh, thanks for the free item, Buster. Oh no, he's doing his crazy town stuff. Cool. We got him, my gummy friend. What a fun game. I forgot how, how, like, how much of a good time this game is. Prioritize when using uncommon 3D printers, use the one for Oh, interesting. Okay. I was about to complain. I was about to be like, you're just giving me scrap? But... It's regenerating scrap. Alright, so there's... This... And this. I wonder. How can I mark it? There it is. Uh... There. Oh, and there's some stuff down there as well. Oh wait, we unlocked the... Mercenary, I believe. Make it. Hell yeah. Uh, where was it? There's definitely one, like, over here. There it is. Lost Seer's Lenses. 1.5% chance to kill any enemy on hit. Which obviously means the higher our attack speed goes, the more likely. Um... If I use that, will I be able to use my regenerating scrap? Because I would rather just get it out of the way. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to find another place to use it. Unless... Is that green? Nope. And also a worse item for us. Go, my scrap! Wait, what did it take? It didn't take the scrap! God damn it. Might as well. I mean, we're gonna use it to level up. And we're gonna get out of here. Oh, hey. You're in a fighting position. Now we got, what, a 30% chance to do bleed? <laughs> Not too shabby. Wait, is that something? Last one, I promise. 
And I know we're playing on easy mode, so it like doesn't count that I'm like cruising, but I don't know. I'm having fun. Oh, this expensive one too. What's this? Your critical strikes deal an additional 100% damage. That is such a bummer because I don't have <laughs> critical strike chance anymore. Because I traded it away for instant kill chance. Oh well. Oh well indeed. I'm out of here. No! Uh, it's cool when it warps you before you hit the ground, but it's not cool. You get... You get double damage, actually, on the next stage, if you're able to. Warning, the air smells of sweet strawberries. That's lovely. Um, you actually get double damage on the next stage if you're able to enter the next stage while in the air. These guys are not super threatening at the moment, but, you know, you never know. They could be. Did that do anything? Who knows? Let's go! We're going to the moon. Never mind. Double your healing, but it's applied over time. I forgot what the moon looked like. It wasn't that. These guys are easy. And I have a lot of money now. What is that? Are you the sweet strawberries? Oh, you're just a thing. I want to go up there. Was that a challenge? I think so. Let's do it. We can do the challenge and we can summon our buddy. Ow, you really hurt me. Come on, my friend. We do it together. That's a nice chunk of money. Cool. Goodbye, my rail gunner. Sweet dreams. Now, how would I get over there? Let's rock and roll. Please! Uh! Oh, well, that works. <laughs> What's that? Huh. Alright. And what do we have here? I do like a double jump. But this looks new, so... Ignite effects deal quadruple damage. Do I have any ignite effects? I don't know. I want more attack speed. Darn it. I got the lone survivor achievement.
Give me more boxes, please. I have so much money. Uh, let me in this door, please. No can do, they said. So hungry. I'm so hungry. Off the wall. Hell yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I guess they just don't make treasure chests in this game anymore. I feel like they, they took them out in the uh, most recent update. Wait, is this moon? Is this actual moon? Not fake moon? No, it's fake moon. I have so much money and nothing to spend it on. I already know where the teleporter is. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. What do you got for me? A corrupted extra life consumes on use. Corrupts all Dio's best friends. Alright. Uh, yeah, dude. Like, I know what that is. Wow! Goodbye. What's happening to my body? Is this anything? No. Hello, what are you? A drone. Alright, sure, actually, yeah, you can have my equipment. And then you just use it whenever you can. Wait, you're making gummy equipment drones! You falser. That stinks. You took my only friend away from me. I thought you'd be making gummy me's. I have this, I don't know what it does. <laughs> Killing enemies give you a burst of movement speed. Thank you. I need another equipment. Oh jeez. Oh, I think Roll of Pennies was what I lost last time. Uh, when I fed it to the to the machine. Alright, I'm gonna check one more thing up here. Oh, never mind. Uh, wait, I can go even further? Don't mind if I do. Hey, nice. I'll just hit you until you give me something. Wow. I have good luck. Yeah, this is where I'd put my noxious battery if I had any. Items. Alright, well, let's hit it. Hey, that's kind of nice. Mending Gup, Horde of Many. I, I, don't, I don't know this guy, but... Take them all out. It's a uh, it's the fistula of risk of rain. I guess yeah. I don't think I saw any enemies except for gups. Maybe the gup is what smells like strawberries. 
Hey, an extra jump. Thank you. Alright, well, we're done here. Whoops. There's so many gummy equipment drones. I think the gummy equipment drones keep spawning gummy equipment drones. <laughs> it's kind of great. Oh well. I guess it's like body fodder. What do we got? Anything? Oh, something over there. Oh no, I know what that is. That's just the machine that's like you can swap off some of your good items for like a worse item. If you stink. So I guess all of this is just going to uh... Leveling up. I mean, unless I can go through these caverns and find something else. Is that something? Already opened? Anything in there? Oh, we can check it out now. Yes. Drones fire faster, have less cooldown, shoot missiles, and gain a bonus chain gun. Cool. Hey, Colonel Droneman. Well, it's a good thing I went looking around, eh? Alright, we'll jump on this thing, and if there's nothing, then, uh, then we're out of here. see anything. But then again... What the? <laughs> That's what got a Colonel Droneman. Alright. Uh... Alright. We're out of here. Come on, drones! Whee! See, see, I'm in the air, I'm in the air! Double damage, next round. Alright, I like this level. Primordial teleporter aligns with the moon. Yeah, maybe I'll just win. What is this? Uh, just a gunner. Clear the void seed. Ten monsters remaining. I, uh, never seen that objective before, but sure, why not? I actually need some monsters to show up, though, if I want to get some money. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, this level goes hard in terms of, like, collecting stuff. Is this green? Please be green so I can sell my scrap. Nope. Alright. Nothing up here, so... Hmm. We go down there. Wait, why is it in a bubble? Oh, I see. This is the Void Seed, huh? Of course, I'm constantly taking damage in here. But, you know, par for the course. Wait, are you an enemy? Where are the baddies? Oh, there you are. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Relax. I don't know where the baddies are. Uh, arrow's pointing down this way. Wait, is that you? Nope. Oh, my equipment drone died. I do not know where the enemies are.
Is it is you are you? I don't know. It's all purple. It's all the same color. This thing. The void seed collapses. Okay, cool. I, I, I don't understand what that was all about. Also, it killed, like, all my drones. <laughs> so thanks for that. I don't have any equipment anymore. Sorry, bud. So what, what, what is all this stuff? What is this? Nothing? What is this? Nothing? Alright. Collapse void potential. What is this? What the fuck? Uh, give me... Give me that. Uh, yeah, hit me. Corrupts all will of the wisp. Full health enemies detonate on hit. I see, I much prefer that. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Alright. And now we go and get all this. What is this? Collapse my void potential, please. Oh, wait. Gain access to an encrusted cache that contains a void item. Good dark player going off. I think you were cool. Yeah. What do you got on sale? Something good, I hope. I used to play with people, believe it or not, um, but you do get much, many more, much more, many more items when you play by yourself. Wow, my luck has been really good with these. Give me another jump, just because I think it's fun. All right, now where's the teleporter? It, it usually hangs out like somewhere around here. And it looks a little different, this one, if I recall. Keep up the good luck. Topaz brooch. What does that do again? Get a shield when you kill? Yeah. Maybe it's below. It's yeah, you can like go in a hole here. This would be the teleporter. Well, we'll take a quick look around. And I know that there's like a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. But... 
the people that explained it to me, I wasn't really listening when they explained. And I've now forgotten. Alright, we'll check up here and then we'll go. treacherous. My drones will take care of whatever that was. Wait. Yeah. Oh, let's go! Huh. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, give me the question mark. Okay. Hmm. To be honest, I, I haven't really been using my skills. I've been mostly, uh... Just using my primary attack. Because I think it's good. Closed. Nothing. Sometimes there's like a golden chest on this map. But I don't suppose I would know where that is. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I think we'll just go the normal way this time. Get me out of here. Grandparent. Alright, there you are. I kind of forget what this guy does, but at the moment it doesn't seem to be going too bad. Cool. Well, not bad at all. Really, more of this scrap stuff? Terrible item. it being done. Uh, that was like the big healing wave or whatever. Got anything here? No. Rain, baby. Easy pe- hello. Easy peasy. Alright, and this should take us to the moon. We fight the crazy guy who takes all our items. And then we're out of here. Is there anything I'm forgetting? We have to do the, uh... Like, the, the obelisks? The shrines? Can't remember what they're called. It's a bit of a long run-up. Although... You know, you can get more movement speed items. I just... I didn't. <laughs> I didn't find any, I mean. If they offered them, I would take them. Oh, 
Alright. So looking at this, what do we think? I think I got a shot. It's not it's not a you know set in stone one hundred percent kind of thing, but I think I got a shot. Ooh, that was fast. Alright, let's see. Do we want to go over to this one? Sure. I think... Can I jump on these? Yes. Cool. And there should be one right there. Hmm. Nope, that's just a fire. Unless... Did they maybe change it? Since the last time I played? It's possible. There it is. You can see the line going straight up. Oh no! <laughs> anyway. I, I always thought that fall damage would do more, but it never really did. Is this the one that like pushes you out? Yeah. You want to wedge yourself between this one and a wall, usually. Or you can get up here. Pillar of Design. What's this? Easy. Five items for something. I'm okay. Wait, can I do free scrap? Free scrap, free scrap, free scrap? Nope. So these scrap items are useless. I don't know, they're, they're probably like... Beloved, but uh... Just given the way that I play, they're not very useful. This pillar, I think, is the easiest, if I recall. It goes really quickly, and it does a little bit of damage to you while you're on it, but that's okay. I'm getting kind of good with these uh, little bomb jumps. Let's just do it. Cool. Get out of here. Funded. I made money. I'm not making that, am I? Oh, lust. Wow. All right, and there are two here uh, this time. Sometimes they're like split up in different ways, but three here. Maybe I could do them all at the same time. These ones just take a long time, if I recall. But maybe I can get some overlap between them. Oh no, they don't take long, but if you step out, they like go down to zero like super quick. 
All right, well, I just want to step out. Hmm. Whoa. Hello. That must be my instant kill happening. Because I have a 2% chance and I shoot quite a lot. I think since I put them both on at the same time, no enemies are really going to show up for this one. Because they usually show up on activation, not on use. Oh, well, like one enemy. I want to stand on the ice. Nice. Oh, this would feel really cool. If you were standing on a big block of ice and then there was like, this is like a hot plate. And so it's obviously going to melt faster on that side so you can like stand there without... I mean, it would still like get slippery, but you know, just have good balance. Go, 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 go. Nice. Alright, final boss time. If you've never seen the final boss, here it is. Alright, wake up, friend. Hello. You gotta like jump for this one. He'll land in the middle, do some like shockwave stuff. But it's it's fine to be honest. Wait, wait, wait. All right, get him while he's frozen. <laughs> Idiot. And then you stay up in the air, start charging your ice. Easy. Alright, phase two, just a bunch of, uh, guys. I used to, yeah, I used to play a lot of melee characters, so this phase would actually be kind of tough. Because I would have a hard time reaching the, uh, the guys in the sky. Freezing seems really strong. And then we'll freeze uh, Big Bad when he gets back. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Boom. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know if it hit, but it felt good. <laughs> yeah, if you stay up in the air, Mithrix has a much harder time, like, getting to you. Hello? Oh yeah, I forgot. In the second phase, uh, the monsters are here too. The one you really have to look out for is the pizza slices. Um, if he does the pizza slices, you'll know, but, uh, but that is a dangerous move. Many a run have been lost. There it is, the pizza slices. Oh, did I knock him out of pizza slice? That's incredible. This got to be top, uh, top tier character if you can knock Mithrix out of the pizza slices. Whoa, knock him out. Oh, get out of here. All right, now take my items. I don't want them. Yeah, this is, it's kind of, it's its always like a slow part of the fight, but it is fun, like, getting stronger again. Alright. Let's 
let's get out of here. Die quicker, please. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He also, like, talks in the chat, but uh, I wasn't reading any of that. Because uh, I always forget. Yeah, so now the moon is falling apart because he was, like, the only thing holding it together, I think. Uh, and we gotta get back to our ship so that we can get off this stinking planet. Even though, you know, we're probably the bad guys. It's okay. Hello. Oh, void attack. Hmm. Can I go in? You have been detained, await your sentence at the end of time. Okay, so that just kills you. I thought it would, like, take me somewhere. Well, at least I had my revive. If I didn't have my... Periodically recruits allies from the void, corrupts all yellow items. What is going on here? I'm getting so many corrupted, corrupted items. <laughs> Yeah, so now we just defend our ship. This can be tricky. Uh, if you stink at the game. Whoops. Or if you get clipped into your ship. Oy. Yeah, I thought that that was some kind of cool Easter egg where if you went in, in there it would, it would take you somewhere cool. <laughs> I guess the cool place it was taking you was... Uh, Death. Uh, 90%. I think we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Easy peasy. That's risk of rain. I can't remember what happens in the closing cutscene, but I think we just leave and everyone's like, Good job, everyone. Take a sip of your mom fuel and congratulations. That is Risk of Rain 2. Having successfully defeated Mithrix, of course, and, and yes, had to set off for greener pastures. No longer could they await the end of the world. No, they had to go seek out the end of the world by themselves. So she left, ready to take her shot. Oh, I don't want to skip it. Thank you, Bingus. I do believe I pogged off. Alright, we can skip everything from here. Uh, great game, great team. Uh, one death. Got a bunch of kills. Cool. Unlocked everything. Alright, requires dragged below. Escape the planetarium. I will never figure it out by myself, so how to get to Planetarium Risk of Rain 2. Randomly from stage 6 on and on, there is a chance for the purple portal to appear. This will take you to the void potential. realm access through the void portal 
Um, after breaching all nine cells in the void field as a randomly spawning port. Okay, so we have to go to the moon, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I always like the bandit, so we'll do the bandit. Um, we're going to stay on easy mode for now. I'm getting back into it. the R do again? Oh, it's like the revolver shot. I don't have enough yet. Darn. Whoops. Alright. Open me up. Razor Y. Retaliate in a burst of razors on taking damage. I can do that. Yeah, I also suck at this game, but... <laughs> or as this character, maybe, but I, I think this character is super fun. Look, you invisible? Da 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 da. BOW! <laughs> Temporary barrier on kill. I will take the temporary barrier. For you. And you, I remember you can jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Good times. Stun. Boom. Boom. Yeah, because all attacks from behind are critical with this person, I believe. Okay. Very sneaky. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm getting back into it. It's like bicycles and all that. Whoo, hoo, hoo. you see that? Not too shabby if I say so myself. Anything over here? Is this, uh, to go to the moon? No. Alright, what do we got going on? Oh, not real. I don't know, maybe we could... Anything up here? No, it doesn't look it. What the heck? Oh, it hit! Huh, I don't know what that is. Am I just like messing with the local wildlife? I mean, I guess that that's what I'm doing anyway, but... Let's leave. I don't know if there's anything else really to do. Oh, 
unless. Needle tech. Chance to collapse enemies on hit corrupts all tri tip daggers. Fine by me. I don't know what collapse does, but. Bleed. I mean, bleed is good, but. Let's try the new stuff, right? Alright, so we need to get to the moon. If we get to the moon, we can also uh, free the wizard, I believe. Here's how I used to do it. Boom. Boom. Nice. Easy peasy. I mean, I know I am playing on easy mode, but... I don't know. Let people play on easy mode, I say. What is that, a drone? I guess. Um, Alright, two drones. I'll grab them after this. Is there anything else? Does not look like it. Alright. Oh yeah, it looks crazy. I forget what the revolver does exactly. Doesn't it like do like crazy crit damage? beef that one up, huh? Where was it? This? No. Thanks, healing drone. Oh no, it was this, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. <gasps> Wait, a shrine. Alright, now I'm out of here. <gasps> Wait! No! I could have gone moon, but I can't go now, right? I don't think. Yeah, no. Darn it. Although, I guess early moon isn't like the best thing in the world, because it can be a little hard if you don't have items, which I don't really. But still. Alright, well. Next time we'll go moon. Next time we'll go moon, assuming there is another moon shrine thing. This map is one that I notoriously find it really hard to find on. There's the other version of this map, of stage two, which is, um, the, like, the desert. And I know where to find it there, but I don't know where to find it here. Okay. 
Hello. Back on track. I let my gaming speak for itself. Anything, anything? Sometimes there's stuff back here. I'll take equipment. Junior! The best item in the game, quite possibly. Nope. This is it. Uh, this doesn't really help us. So because we can kind of attack as fast as we would like. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, okay. No. Nothing could replace my gooby. Uh, the wall. See that? One sec.
Hello. I was like Walter White chasing that bug around. I uh Yeah. I used to not mind bugs so much, but I hate them now. Um When I was young, I was told that uh, if there's a female cockroach, you need to spray it to death. Not, uh... oh yeah, we should go down here. Uh, not crush it, because if you crush it, maybe this is where the uh, thingy is, the moon? Uh, if you crush it, then like the uh, The eggs come out, and then, like, what the heck is going on in here? Uh. Huh. Um. The eggs come out, and then, like, more cockroaches can be born. What crazy noises. Um, and you don't want that, obviously. Uh. But I think I learned that that's not true, that that was a myth. Uh, but either way. Bugs, not my jam anymore. Not that they were ever my jam, but just I think I used to not mind them, now I really don't like them. And so I, yeah, Walter White did that bug. I went, we, I, oh, there it is! I went, we will not cook until the evil is defeated. Alright, what do we want? Uh, flat damage reduction. Or shield. Same thing. Whoa. Polly, chance to repeatedly strike a single enemy with lightning. Corrupts all ukuleles. Cool. So how am I going to get up there? Um, let's see. I could go this way. Around here. It's still a bit far, though. I don't have any other kind of like extra jump. Hello. So unless I get that, I'm out of luck. All right. Or maybe more speed. Hey, give me that. Alright, well, we'll do the boss. See if we get, like, a, a double jump feather. Where is it? Here. There you go. this. Reduce incoming damage while sprinting. <laughs> Alright, bye. Uh, let's see. There's that. Not much else, though. Not really. I don't know. Bugs. Uh... They, I don't know, I think it's a change of mindset more than, like, an actual change of disgust. When I see a bug, I think different things now than I used to. I think, I don't know, learned experience. You know, seeing and knowing things I shouldn't have to, but do. Alright, 
How about that over there? If it's a double jump, then I can do it. I might be able to do it anyway. Maybe I just got, like, a bad angle. Or maybe I could use that vantage point to... to jump to another place that would take me up higher. Like, what if I went for the closer one first? Or what if I tried to get up here? Maybe I could run up the wall of this guy. Hmm. Close. For a second there. Okay, okay. Alright, hold the line. Wait, but I already did the teleporter! Are you kidding me? Man, oh man. Empty bottle, no! <laughs> It's all going wrong. What's this? Nothing. Get me out of here. I'm pished. No, 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 in the air. Oh, that was kind of mostly on the ground there. Okay, I know this one. Usually I know actually where... I know where it sometimes is. So let's go there first, so we don't do the same thing that we're always doing, which is using the teleporter before we do the thingy. Hey, it's our lunar guy. Or our void guy. Plasma shrimp. While you have a shield, fire missiles on every hit. Alright, I think we have shield stuff. So usually it's over here, or on that platform over there. Oh, I also have my double, but I don't think I ever used him. Alright, so here's the teleporter, so it's probably not going to be here. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Alright, let's go get some more stuff. This is cool. These these missiles? Oh yeah. Uh let's take guaranteed closer damage. Cause we like to get, at least, uh, definitely with bosses, and most of the time with enemies, you know, like to get up in their face. Well. <laughs> I lived. Scrapper. That's cool. That's really cool. Hello. <laughs> What's this? Open chest healing, sure. Open chest utility, sure. There was another one, like, right here. Can I double donate? Nope, no double dipping allowed. We want to make sure... And yeah, why not? We'll go a little long today, because, you know, I'm having fun. <laughs> not got much be else better to do, so... Might as well. Alrighty. 
We're two, we're two, we're two. Uh, yippee! Yeah, we could kind of maybe go infinite in a big group uh, with our skill reset if we have a high enough level with a bandolier. Nice. That is nice. <laughs> Do it for me. Black quail jumping while sprinting boosts you forward. Okay. Alright, I think it's time for the teleporter. Unless there's anything else up here. Yippee! Alright, let's go. And then we can moon. And then we can we can get the artificer. I think is the name of the character. I always called them the wizard. The sorcerer. Whoa. I don't know what that was, but I'm glad it happened. I like that. And what do we want? Bonus to bosses, bonus to bosses. It's best this one, the, the wax jumping quail or whatever it's called, when you're going up a hill. You can get some real momentum. Ha ha ha, do you see that? Very nice. Shuriken. My gummy bandit still hanging about. Are you my gummy bandit? I don't know what you are. Um, I don't need any of those. Whee! Alright, remember, we don't go through the teleporter, you go through the blue portal. Okay, uh... Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What happens to those like marked enemies? Or staggered? I can't remember what it was. 
I know that it probably, uh, like, helps lo with lock-on a little bit, but I love the, uh... Alright, wait a second. Boom. Boom. Yes. Perfect. Yes! Uh, I love when it, an enemy is really far away and you revolver uh, strike them. Okay. I don't really care about anything uh, except freeing the survivor. Later. I think if you attack the shopkeeper, you get spat out of the shop. So you can either like go the normal route, um, or you can go this cool route, where you lose half your damage on the way in. But trust me, it's worth it. Assuming you're good enough to survive, that is. Here we go. Bring me in. Alright. Triple damage on this stage, because we didn't shoot on that stage. Wait, they have they have chests here now. This is new. There never used to be chests here. Anyway, start me up. Alright, so I think we got a pretty good start in that it is mushrooms, which are not typically super difficult to deal with. Uh-oh. Is it you? Are you real? No, you're not real. Where's the real mushroom? There you are. Oh, hello. Where? Well, thank you, though. You gave me enough to... Actually, I can see how this would become problematic if there were a lot more of you. Hmm. Right, what'd you give me? An orb. Okay. Uh, crowbar. And then where's the next one? Over there. So you constantly take damage while you're out in this void stuff. It's a bit of a bummer. Maybe I should have taken the Bungus just for healing, but... Uh, it's equipment, I don't need it. Oh. Right, I'm gonna give myself a second to get the, uh... Health back. Do I have any healing items, actually? Come to think of it. Not really. <laughs> oh well, it's rock and roll. This will be a very easy one. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's just my, uh, focus ring. Cool. Any monsters? I don't- I think they might be lost. I think they don't know how to get here. Well. Free win for me. Although, I guess I'm not getting any money, which might be prove problematic if I want to... It might become a problem. I wonder. Using the phrase problematic to mean, like, there might be a problem. Is that... Uh, let's take health. I think we need some healing. Where are we going? Alright, well, uh... Alright, there. The one where you get uh, healing when you sprint would be really nice. Alright, let's go. 
stone golems. That can be a little more problematic. Yeah, problematic technically can be used interchangeably with, like, that's going to be a problem. But I guess people choose not to anymore. My gummy bandit, you're taking so much health. No. Thank you. Where's my gummy bandit going? PC. But it will get harder. Don't don't you fret. Uh, take more monster tooth. Right, where where can I see it? Oh, is it over there? Oh dear. Oh jeez, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. I actually do need to wait now to get my health back. Also, so I can just... Weep. Weep. Okay. We have our second, uh, our second mercenary though, so... Our health is really low. Does the bandit have, like, bad health scaling? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so I feel as though this, the prison, is pretty RNG dependent. And I think the one that they just got is really, really uh, bad RNG. It effectively, they're all going to be doing a lot more damage until we get them down to low health. Go get him, my gummy bandit. Thank you. Are you real? Nope. Oh, there's a real one right there. Goodbye, my gummy bandit. I will never forget you. I'll never forget you. Alright, where are we going now? Honestly, the, the parts where I'm fighting against the enemies are fine. It's really the parts where, uh... <laughs> I mean, uh... I'm running between them. <laughs> okay, do we want bleed? Bleed now does that other effect, so I think we do. Once we get our purple back, we'll we'll go. All right, we got our purple health back. Wait, wait, wait. Blind pests. I'd agree with that. 
I don't really like flying enemies or projectile enemies, but uh, I don't think these guys are too bad. They are new, so it's like the first time I'm dealing with them, but uh, just because they're new doesn't mean they're hard. I think they have like low health. You know, Gummy Bandit, if you stay in the circle, wow, uh, you'll get hit less. Bye, Gummy Bandit. Thank you for all your help. You know, I know what it's like to be a Gummy Bandit in an and and yes world. If you ever see a Gummy Bandit <laughs> on the street, simply go shake its hand. Um, you know what? Shuriken. Alright, do we see it? There. Yikes. That's health. We're not getting back until we get there. Whew. Okay. Once we get our purple health back, we'll go. Red Whip. That means they move faster out of combat? Move faster while in combat? I can't remember. Uh, Gummy Bandit really doing all the work. Gummy Bandit, you stayed! You got the healing! I wonder if Gummy Bandit could charge the teleporter. Alright, cool. Uh... I guess... I guess? None of those were particularly appealing to me, but I had to take something. Where, wait, where was it? Oh my god. Totally had the wrong direction. How embarrassing. I would never give away my gummy bandit. Not for a billion items. Alright, that's where we leave from, but I'm not going to coward out. <sighs> Beetle guards, okay. The enemies aren't getting close enough for me to make use of the monster tooth, or whatever it's called. Where's Beetle? Not Beetle. Uh, Gummy Bandit. Puff the Gummy Bandit. Live by the sea. I actually don't remember any of the words to that song. Hey. Goodbye. Barrier, I think. Never mind. Well, it's still nice, actually. Alright, two left. This is actually in an ideal position, and I think I know where the last one is. Which means... Yeah. I'm wondering, do I... I probably do. I'm not gonna wait around for another 20 seconds just for Gummy Bandit. Gummy Bandit can come when Gummy Bandit comes. Attack uh, missiles have been integrated into the cell.
should have waited for Gummy Bandit, huh? Alright, learning process. I got the this guy, this guy. I don't like this guy very much. <laughs> Doesn't have any movement skills. I didn't play this guy very much. Well, it's gonna do it. The stream we managed to answer that aching, gnawing, age-old question: Is it roguelite or roguelike? And I'm, I, I for one, I'm glad we did manage to answer it. Because it means we're all on the same page now. Right? The page being, who cares? I don't. I just care that other people don't care, I guess. I care that people don't care so much that they get annoying about it. I guess. Um. Yeah. Uh, so, um, as always, I have been, and, and, yes, and, I love you all. Bye bye.
Yeah.
stay. Stay. <laughs> This is my home. This <laughs> is my home. Please. Shut up! See this camera. No. This is so funny. Do it. I need to do it. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another stream of the bad idea. Bad ideas. Today. Okay. Okay. We'll stop. I'll see you. I'll push. I did it. Stop.
Shut up. Please. Please.
It's in the mom fuel today. I'm drinking this. I'm not making the mom fuel. It doesn't taste like water. But today, I'm drinking a gaffle colch. <laughs> it won't stop foaming. I was, I was that person. Instead, change when it's bad. <laughs> I gotta stand change when it's not something I don't want. You know, I liked myself once. I liked myself once. Is what I said. I used to think that there was always something that I could find myself excited about. No matter what, I I could even even with nothing else going on, I could reach out and I can grab something. And it would make me happy if I wanted it to. Now look at my fucked up hands. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, why? What is wrong? It's not food.
stop, stop.